everybody hope you're well and welcome to today's video today is a little come along with me uh, i'm going on a little shopping trip with my sister um and i thought i'd just bring you along and see well you know perhaps grab a coffee i don't know go to primark see what i'm picking up you know have a look at the town that kind of stuff i'm just trying to do some more um vlog style videos and see how they go so yeah hope you enjoy it And welcome to today's video so today is well it was a shopping trip um, sorry I couldn't take you into the shops it just it's not a great place to film people don't really it's just really weird so and it's really hard looking at something and filming it and getting the phone out so apologies on that note but let's get to it what did I buy what did we have a look at so first things first I went into um, boots and super drug and I picked up the L'Oreal Prime Lab 24 hour matte setter. And I'm not one for primers, but I know loads of people rave about this and I just thought I wanna try it. So I bought this, I'm gonna try it. I haven't tried it yet because I'm trying other, other skincare and I don't wanna, you know, disrupt anything. I'm just going slowly, slowly. And this, because this has salicylic in it. It says grips makeup, no shine, rebalances skin over time. So, when I next do my makeup, I'm gonna try this and we'll see how, how good it is. I needed a serum and I remembered years ago that I love the number seven perfect and protect and perfect intense serum. I had this, used to be in a different packaging and I had this years ago, like 2015. And I remember I loved it. So I just thought I wanna try it again. And I've used it for the past couple of days and it is so nice. It feels like it almost feels like a silicone primer, but it just smooths out skin. Um, it's got a tiny bit of retinol in it, which I didn't know, um, and Matrixel 3000 and all of that. So it's a really nice serum. I then I, I use it and go straight in with my sunscreen. So I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Then I picked up, which I really wanted to try, is the CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum. Now I've got really like, my skin just reacts very easily and I actually do very well with like drugstore retinols because it's such a minuscule amount. It's a tiny amount of retinol in here. Um, it's got ceramides and niacinamide and I used this last night. My skin, I don't know what happened, what I used, but it was like breakout mm. central. I used this last night and my skin was considerably smoother, like smooth. Pimples had gone down, pigmentation, everything was smooth. So I think I'm gonna like this. And in combination with this, they each have a small amount of retinol. So this at night and this in the morning, you're like gently keeping things turning over without getting that irritation and redness and peeling. You just get that nice, gentle resurfacing. And I think that's the way I'm gonna approach my skincare. I think that's the way I like it. I can't go full in on heavy stuff because it just disrupts my skin. I think the little amounts of things over time actually work really well, especially if you've got sensitive skin. So these two together are really nice. I then picked up, because they've got these mini sections in um, boots, and I was a diehard fan of Liz Earl. I honestly, I used to say I could build a house with um, all the cleanse and polish tubes that I used to go through. I adored it. Then it changed hands and um, I think Carolyn Hirons really didn't, she, she said, I mean, she was one of the ones who said that it was like the worst brand ever or something, like it was so reactive for skins and it just put me off. And then I was having a, a few issues with some of the products and then I just, I just, you know, I stopped. But I remember loving this skin tonic toner. Oh my goodness. So I picked it up again and the smell is exactly the same. <gasps> It's so nice and soothing. Replenish your skin with soothing hydration to prep for your routine. And I just thought I'd get this because I use a lot of 
actives in my face wash, in my to in my skincare. I thought, let's just get a nice gentle toner if you like doing a mask or perhaps your skin's a little bit, you know, iffy and you don't and you don't want to use any actives, then this is gorgeous. It is so beautiful. It smells exactly how I remember it smelling and it just keeps skin beautifully soft. And I'm so tempted to try the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish again. I liked when they did the limited editions, so you'd get like all the different scents like lavender or um, orange blossom and I love them. So it'd be interesting to know how it compares to my Emma Hardy now because I was, I was, I had everything, the moisturizer, everything Lizelle. I was obsessed and there was Lizelle's store in Guildford, it's not there anymore. It's It was a beautiful brand, but she, she, I don't know who she sold it to, but do you know what I mean? You, when you don't have the person that was behind the brand, it kind of destroys the, the brand. I don't know, you know? It's just, it's in the hands of someone else. So, there we are. But I also picked up a gentle exfoliator as well. And this is lovely. This is really nice. It's a soft but granulated kind of exfoliator. It's really smoothing. It, it's made my skin feel really soft. I really, I liked it. I really liked it. It just, I feel really um, nostalgic about Lizelle actually. Yeah, I'm in a nostalgic phase. Everything, I'm not nostalgic. Um, and it's just the smell of this. I just love it. I remember having a facial with them once and it was like the best facial ever. It's such a shame, isn't it? That these, you know, good businesses are like being taken over by conglomerates and the little boutiques are going. And you know, it's just like, like when we went shopping, like half the stores are gone now. It's all like, either it's like vape stores. Oh my God, bane of my life. Um, or, you know, weird phone case shops, gross. Or, you know, restaurants and things. But like all the little shops that used to be there are gone. And like the department store now is going. And it's just like, oh my goodness. Okay, they revamped boots, but you know, made it a bit like a, like a altar, which is amazing. But other than that, you know, they, they really need to just, I don't know, I guess things have changed, I don't know. But anyway, it's sad because I love this. And they had a flagship store in um, Sloan Square. Oh, I know. Oh, those were the days, wasn't it? So that's it for skincare. I, my favourite thing to buy, you know, is makeup and skincare. I didn't buy makeup because... So I was looking at the um, Too Faced lipsticks, the milkshake lipsticks, because I can get my makeup always online for like 20% off, always. Go into store if you wanna swatch and look at colors, and I'm talking like high end, like, I don't know, Huda Beauty, Mac and all of that. But when you buy, you can buy it online because you'll always get, you know, a new sign up 15% discount or 20% discount, put it in your basket. You'll never have to pay the full price. Um, but like things like this that you get in boots, you know, they're, they're, they'll be, if they're on an offer, they'll be on an offer. So that's what I kind of do. Okay, we then went into Primark. Oh my God, I haven't been in Primark for years. I used to get all my work clothes there. I just wanted to get some bits for summer because it's summer for like two months in. You know, I don't want to spend loads of money um, for stuff that I, you know, you're gonna wear a couple of months, you know, of the year. So I wanted some sunglasses that I could wear dog walking. And I picked up these. These kind of look like the Ray-Ban ones. Just some cheapy ones. These were £3.50. They fit really nicely. And I just thought these will be really good for sunny days when it's dog walking and I can avoid eye contact with, you know, the people that bother me. So, yeah. If you don't want to wear... I've got my, like, lovely Gucci ones. Um, you know, the really glam ones. I'm not going to wear them dog walking, am I? Yeah? So these are good for that. So you don't kind of... Or by the pool, you don't mind kind of, you know, sitting on them and such. Then I bought, also in Primark, I bought, they didn't really have, if this is the thing, it's only the beginning of May and already all of their summer stuff is like practically gone. All the bikinis are gone. All the things are gone. And you're just like, so you really have to get in there. I wanted to get some like sliders for um, by the pool. So I picked these up. Nice colour. They fit nicely. They were six pounds. Um, and they do the job. So that's that. That's what I got in Primark. Then I went to Lululemon, as you heard in my story in my previous video about 20 pages of review. Anyway, I saw um, 
someone ha had something like this. It's like, it's a, um, well, what do you call it? I don't know. Uh, anyway, you know I had my Sweaty Betty one. I bought it because I wanted it to be cross shoulder, but the strap isn't long enough. And now again, it's getting warmer and I'm not going out in my coat. I need something for dog walking because I've got my keys, my lead, my poo bags, my wallet, my phone. I've got so many things to carry and I normally put everything in my big pockets. But now it's warmer and I'm not wearing my coat. I need something, you know. And I, I saw this online and it's Lululemon and it does go, oh, how does it work? I don't even know. Oh yeah, it goes across the body like this. I need to um, shorten it a bit. But do you know what I mean? So then I, I'm hands free because I can't have things in my hands because I literally will put them down and never pick them up. It's got a nice bit in the front here if you put stuff in. It's also good for city breaks as well if you don't want like you know don't want to wear your designer bag, and then it's got this bit here at the back as well, so you've got a, a space here to put things. I just think it's a nice spring colour, and you know, it's just nice. It's kind of do you know what I mean? It's modern, it's sporty, and one of the people in the shops was wearing one, and they had it quite short up here. So I have to figure out how to make this a little bit shorter. But I just thought it was perfect for my dog walks. I can put everything in here, my phone, my keys, my glasses, my wallet, and whatever. And I and I can just, you know, I think I'll get use out of it. And I just like the colour, it's mint green. I think that's really nice. Okay, and the two other things are shoes. Now, I've got size two feet. So if I want like designer, designer high-end shoes, I'm gonna to go to the children's section because A, I'm gonna get it for a fraction of the price. I've been wanting these New Balance shoes forever. It's these ones here. I can't remember what they're called, 327, whatever they are. It's these ones here. They're a size two. No laces to tie. I can just slip these on. These are normally, well, the adult size is like 119 pounds and I could never get it. Then I found them, kids section, um, 60 quid so I just thought these were nice you know when you're going for a coffee on Sunday and you're you know you're running errands and you want to look a bit put together you're not wearing a, well, your dog walking boots I live in wellies dog walking boots these are just really really nice they're fresh I love the leopard print um, they're light to wear they are really nice so I love these I think I got these from shoe and then last but not least um, the mini Uggs, which I've been trying to get hold of forever. Um, again, these are a size two. I got them in the children's section. So I got these for, I think, um, 90 pounds instead of 190 pounds because they're from the children's section. And they're the color I like. I think the color is called Driftwood. Um, I love this kind of um, color. And again, they're nice and short. So it you can wear them with like your jeans, you don't have to wear socks, it kind of shows ankle a little bit. It just, I don't know, I just like them, I just really wanted a pair of them, they're just nice to slip on if it's a little bit cold, you know, that day, or I don't know, I just I just wanted to revamp my shoe situation because, you know, you're like wearing the old, same old tired pair of shoes, and I've got this in le the full size one in leopard print, but these look a little bit smarter, I think, because it's just less boot, so I really like those. And that is it. That is my shopping haul for spring. Oh, what's going on here? Shopping haul for spring. Um, yeah, that's about it really. What else am I gonna be buying? Nothing. I, I kind of get, when I buy too much, it's not that I bought too much here, but I get like buyer's remorse. I'm fine when it's something I want and need, or I'm replacing, or skincare that I'm using, but I cannot just go, I haven't been like shopping in the mall for years, like just going around shopping. Um, and because I find online I can control, you know, how, you don't, you kind of lose control of what you're spending. So it's a bit weird for me to come back with bags of stuff and I'm just like, ooh, ooh, did I, ooh, mm, mm, did I need that, la la la, you know, and then I have to kind of talk myself in, yeah, you can use that, you use that by the pool, you'll wear those when it's sunny, you'll wear this when it's dog warm. Madness. Um, so yeah, please like this video, subscribe if you haven't, it's absolutely free, it just notifies you every time I put up a video and it helps me, I'm trying to get to 10k, I've been doing this for many, many years 
and you know obviously I'm a slow slow burner but my subscribers you are real people because I chat to all of you all the time so I'm not buying my subscribers and you're not bots so there's the difference all my comments are real people so okay I hope you're well and I'll chat to you soon bye